This is a DRO I purchased last year off of Amazon. It was sold under the name Two Auto. T that's T O A U T O. And as you can see, this actually says Kexen. I didn't see any of that in the pictures, but that's what you get for 200 bucks, I guess. But anyways, there's some things I've recently learned about this thing, and I did a whole lot of research, and I had to check out like 20 different ones, but I've come to the conclusion they all have the same operating system, just different buttons. So I'm going to show you what how to set this brand, Kexen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. You're going to notice that here it says mill three and you'll see some numbers over here. So we want to change them. Mill three, that's wrong. Five and five, they're right. That is the set setting for the resolution of your scales, which is five microns on mine. So the first thing you're going to notice is when we get in here and actually look at it is I got a lot of digits there. There's no way this thing is that accurate. That's all the digits you need. And honestly, they probably should be in halves instead of trying to read singles or twos. I, th I think it reads in twos. I can't remember. No, it tries to, it tries to get one, I guess. And I can't move it one no matter how freaking hard I try. Anyways, let's get rid of them digits. To do that, when it's booting up, you're gonna hit your point to get in your point parameters. There's two sets of parameters in here. You'll see linear. Linear is for just the scales that's on it now. Rotary, the best I could gather would be for an encoder. Like if you had this set up and you had a rotary table on there and you had an encoder on it, it would read degrees, maybe. We don't have that, so we're going to skip that. There's your resolution for your scales. That should be whatever your scales say. Your scales will say like a weird looking U and then an M, um, and then it'll have a number after like 0.005. That's what that should say. Uh, next would be your direction. If you get your direction screwed up on your scales, if you move, if you're turning this in and it's going toward the positive instead of making your numbers smaller, then you'll want to just put a one and whatever axis is wrong and it just reverses it. Mine's incorrectly, so we don't have to worry about that. Compensation is something else and you don't actually do it here, but I think this is where you set your compensation for either linear scales or rotary scales, which would be unlinear. I don't know, I'm guessing on that. There's our dot. So now let's, that's what we use to fix our digits. Let's put four there, four digits. And that's it. So now we gotta hit point to save it. Whenever you exit any of the uh, parameter menus, you hit point to save it. Now we got a digit that's worth working with. If you you could leave it at five, but in my case, I, I would see one three, but it would be everything would be skewed over, and I would think it would be one thousandth when actually it was one tenth, which really throws you for a loop. <clears throat> Okay, so that's fixed. Now let's get in here and fix our mill. For that, we're gonna want this. You wanna hit this six times fast while it's booting up. You can't hit it too much. So you're gonna see DRA5, you want that on this one. And you're gonna see mill three. So you wanna cursor up until you find lay two axis. See, that's grind two axis. There's also EDM in here. We want lay two axis. So we'll hit enter on that, and you'll see DRO here, and you hit enter on that. So that just switches to a lathe. Now, not sure what that is. I tried figuring that one out. Uh, this here, I'm, I'm going to make an assumption for this after installing this one. If you have, I've seen some info on it, and I didn't really get, dig into it, but basically if you add a, a uh, quill scale on this, and a knee, knee scale, you can have it add them both together. So if you move the quill a little bit and then crank the knee up, it'll add both of them together and still give you the correct depth. I'm guessing that's what that is. Although Y is the wrong designation for that. It should be Z plus whatever the, whatever the quill scale would be, like W or something, I don't know. But anyways, 
we can leave that be. Whoops. I don't know what they are. I thought that was the directions, but I played with them and it didn't seem to do anything. UART. I googled that. If you google that, universal asynchronous centric. Now I forget what the other two is. But it's something to do with communication. So I guess if you screw with that, it'll, it won't communicate. So leave that set where it's at. And DRO5, that's whatever DRO this is on, I guess. So we'll save them numbers. Now I'm going to go back in there again. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Now we're, we're, we're set on radius on this thing. And we want it set the diameter. It's real simple to change this into the diameter once you know what buttons to hit. You just simply hit your X and then your half, and you'll see this little symbol pop up. And that'll be there forever, unless you turn it off. Now it's set for diameter. So in other words, if you take a cut and you measure it and you don't move your tool when it's 1.235, enter. Now if you actually move this down to there, take a cut and you measure it, it's actually going to be 0.670 is what you're going to get on your mics. If you set the radius and you turned it to there and you was hoping for 670, you'd actually get like 400 or something and it would be junk. So that's what that is. Now I'm going to turn this back off real quick. The reason I'm turning it off because I got in here and screwed stuff up and I'm sure somebody else is going to do it. Go back into your inch millimeter menu. Now, if you see this DRA5 and you say, well, I don't like that, I want to go to Digimac 5. We'll hit enter on that. Now, this is the same as the other. It's just more simplified. Two-axis lathe, two-axis grind, two-axis mill, two-axis mill, or three-axis mill, two-axis mill, three-axis EDM. So let's get it to two-axis lathe, and we like that. We don't like DRO, so let's change it to XM3. We enter on that. Okay, now we like it. We got it all, we got it all bitched up. Okay, now let's try turning on our diameter. X half, no symbol, but it did cut that in half. X half, no symbol, but it cut that in half. I was beating my head in trying to figure that out and finally figured out that I didn't realize just cursor and throwing them was actually changing them back there. So now we gotta get back in there and change them babies back. Digimac, we don't like that. We want DRA5, lay two is good. We don't want XM3, this isn't satellite radio. We want DRO. Now we're good. Save that. Now if we hit X half, we got it. Now the last thing on this. This has a compensation feature where if I get it set for something, I guess, and now I just took a cut and I measured it and it's 0.795 I always hit this and want it work I get hit this in x 0.789 it got bigger in a minute there okay I took a cut and I measured it and I set my DRA for that and then I guess if I I'm not quite sure how this works it's kind of perplexing me I don't because he didn't really explain from what starting point but it's wrong if I actually took a cut at that and it was actually 0.790. Then you can make an adjustment to comp for compensation on your linear scale. To me, it should have been explained like if you was at 4 inches and you had it perfectly set and you went down to 1 inch and you took a cut and it was out of whack, but then you're, you was losing counts or something on your scale or something and you could adjust it. But this is how it's explained for another brand of DRO, which seems to work on this one, but I, I only played with it a little bit, and I couldn't get it to work. But my problem was I was trying to do it in inches. It was explained in millimeters. So in order to set this, you might have to take some test cuts in millimeters, get it set, and then come back over to inches. I don't know. But anyways, if you take a cut on your DRO and it's 601, and you mic it, and it's actually 600, this is millimeters, you would take 600 from 601, which gives you 1. Then you would take 1 divided by 600, which is what the 
Mike was actually giving you. So one divided by the actual, and that gives you this number. And then you times this number by a thousand, and then you get 1.6666667. So now that you got our number, we can go, we can hit X and then the millimeter button, and that gets us into a, another third parameter screen. Now we can type that in 1.666. Oh, that's all you can do. And that should fix it, but you're going to have to play with it. The most this will go is 1.99. Is 1.999. It said it won't go no more. Now I did play with it, and you can go negative. You got to hit X first. Negative. I done. I done pooped it up. Negative one point. Oh, I, I've run in this before. X. Okay, you got to hit this negative. Negative one point. Oh, you see that? Didn't like that at all, did it? A little flaky. X millimeter negative one point six six. There you go. There's your negative side. So if you, if this was reversed, if your DR said six hundred and your mic said six oh one. I guess you could still do it in reverse. That's all I know on that. Like I said, I tried to play with it, but I put in a 1.999. It was too big, and I just said to heck with it. Uh, I'll change that back to zero. Let's check it here and see. All right, so that is all I have about that. I believe I run through everything I know. So yeah, there you go. I'll tag this as two auto and also Kexen, and I hope this finds helps somebody find their adjustments a little sooner than I did. I the manual is pretty much useless for this thing. It'll just say what you read on screen. It really doesn't tell you what it is or how it works. Anyways, thanks for watching. Good luck with yours.